Here we go. The revolution of remote working is here to stay. Let's take a look at the latest news. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey announces that people at Twitter can work from home forever. At the same time, Mark Zuckerberg says that more than half of Facebook employees will work remotely in 10 years. Shopify, Visa, Berkeley's and many other companies are considering the idea too. So let's see what the future will look like and what are the threats and the opportunities of remote working for companies and employees. Here we go, let's start with the opportunities. First of all, money. Companies save on average $11,000 in office space and furniture for each employee who works from home while the employee saves from two to $7,000 in commuting expenses. Savings for companies can be even higher if they adopt the Zack way, let's call it like that. Indeed, uh, Facebook's CEO announced that, of course, you can work from home, but your salary will be based on the cost of living of the city where you're currently located. So I'm sorry, it will not be possible to work from Montana and earn as much as if you were living in the Bay Area. Now, point number two, happiness. Companies with extended working from home policies have experienced a much better retention rate and employees are healthier and less stressed. Point number three, productivity. And this is a very interesting point. Despite having some notable cases like IBM and Yahoo, which claimed that working from home was limiting the productivity of their employees, in most of other cases, it's proven the opposite. Indeed, Yahoo itself removed the work from home ban. Let's now switch to the bad side. First of all, we find creativity. Despite the fact that this isn't proven by any data, at the moment, a common concern is that working remotely brings a lack of team building, which leads to a scarcity of innovative solutions. Another downside can be control. 75% of managers claim to trust their team, but they would still like to have them in the office with them. In English, I think you'd say better safe than sorry. In Italy, we say Trust, it's good, but it's smarter not to. <laughs> anyway, jokes aside, these things seem to be pretty fixable, but there is one point which is preventing most of people from working from home, and it's this one. Will remote working damage my career? More than 60% of people would like to work from home, but they fear backlash on their career. So, data have shown that, on average, remote workers get the same number of promotion of their peers in the office, but their salary is lower. Plus, many people still claim today that if you want to move forward in your career, you must be in the office. For example, these are the words of Susie Welch. But if you want to be a leader, you need to be in the building. Leadership is an inside job and it starts in the room where trust happens. Some tech companies proved to give exactly the same opportunities in office at, at home, but it is this global pandemic experiment that will tell us if this is actually applicable in other industries. But what do you think? What is your situation? And would you be scared for your career if working from home? Let me know all of that in the comment and if you learned something new, then like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel Tales of Startup and as always, fai a Modino.